Hey guys, welcome back. Last time we entered this cave. Let's explore it, shall we? Very first step into the stave, that's it. <laughs> oh god, this is this cave is gonna be absolutely brutal. It's very hard. Legitimately very, very hard. And these guys are no They're no small guys. They're pretty they're pretty they're pretty big. First thing I'm doing is raising my defense. And, um... Uh, I don't know. I'll block one of them, at the very least, if one of them doesn't hit us. I, I gotta play very defensively in this room, because it's gonna be bad. Teddy, you can't do anything. Just, just attack. But, so, yeah, this is gonna be hard. This is gonna be a slog. I'll guarantee I'm gonna level up a couple times, because I'm gonna have to go through here and fight so many of these very, very strong enemies. There, there are more than these guys, but... You know, it's constantly. Oh my God, PKB Mar. You see what I mean? First battle, I couldn't do anything about it. That that was it. That was it's done. It's done. It's done. Jesus Christ! It was just bad luck. Since Anna legitimately can't take more than a single hit of a variety of strong attacks. Well, that was useful. But of course, immediately I have to go back up and heal Anna because she's dead. I know, it's delightful, isn't it? Hey, on um, you know, the good side, Teddy leveled up. <sighs> God dang it. <laughs> Alright, so I'll meet you guys back here, alright? Alright! Jesus Christ, you don't know how long it took me to get back here, but I'm finally back. Let's not die in the first couple seconds again, shall we? But yeah, it's gonna be a long slog trying to find my way through this maze. At the very least, this place is super cool. I don't know if you noticed it. But it's got that kind of cave aesthetic we have seen before in this game, but we haven't seen a lot of. And now, we got a whole dungeon. Yeah, these guys, I'm running away from them. They're not the only enemy in here, and these are not the guys I want to defeat unless I'm, maybe I'm a bit stronger. Get us out of here, please. I know where certain things are, but I don't know where everything is in this cave either. Yeah. Here. Here's the other enemy. This neat little enemy can be easily destroyed with this. Because that's all they do. It's very useful. <sighs> Thank goodness. You can simply block their uh, psychic attacks. They won't be able to hit you. And even better, then you can just grind and steal their PP back using the, you know, PP take or whatever. Uh, I don't... PSI drain, whatever it's called. Yeah, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. You can basically grind up for PP using these enemies. So you shouldn't run out. Which is a comforting thought, I guess. But it also means that it's, you're probably going to be here in a while. They probably planned for that. But while I'm in here trying to find my way around, I figured there's something I want to talk about last time. I'll mention it this time. I'm sure you already know if you're watching this, but, um... Reggie fils -Aimé, Um... Still the current president of Nintendo has just announced he is retiring in April. That's... A huge shock. He's been the president of Nintendo of America for 15 years, I believe. Maybe 13 I think he's been in Nintendo of America over New Year's. I think he's worked as the president of Nintendo of America for only 13 years, or something like that. But that's... sad. It's really sad. Reggie's been there for as long as I can remember. As long as I've been a Nintendo fan, he's been there. I can't even remember the guy before him. I was probably... Even if I knew who he was, I probably was too young to really have any good memories. 
And Reggie wasn't just a president. Yeah, let me, let me continue after this. What's this? There was a katana! Well then, yeah, that's one of items I was gonna get. Let me just make some room. But seriously, he defined Nintendo for a lot of people. He was one of those recognizable faces that meant a lot. It's... it is sincerely a very sad thing to happen. And I'm glad he's going away just so he can have time with his family. He can relax, you know. But at the same time, he was probably one of the best presidents you could have for a company like that. He was very close to his fans, very close to people he knew. He was open, he was honest. He was abrupt and straight up with everybody, all of his fans, everyone he knew and talked to. And he was a sincere guy who really cared about his company and the people he worked with. And he got to mess around. He got to, he got to make it fun. I mean, <laughs> if it's not fun, why bother, right? And that, truly, Reggie believed that. He, he was with his company, and he stuck to it. It became something more for him, and it's, it really shows in the way he approached it. And because of that, now he's gone. Things are going to be different. It's, we have Doug Bowser. I, I, don't, he, I mean, I don't know. I guess he looks alright. I don't know much about him. We're going to have to wait and see how he does. Obviously, we have to wait and see. We don't know anything about the guy. But, it's going to be different, and it's it's kind of like a shift. But Nintendo's been changing a lot. Satori Wada, you know, he passed away a while back, obviously. Things kind of started shifting in emotion there. Things started changing a bit. Our new president, Shuntaro Fu uh, Furukawa, Obviously, he's changing things up a bit. He's been there for a while, but now he's in the spotlight and he's trying to do some different things. Nintendo's progressing as a company. Reggie's gone, which is sad. But I think we have a lot to look forward to in terms of Nintendo. They're, they're progressing and they're really making a lot of changes. Whether they're good or bad, we'll have to see, but at the same time, it's interesting to see. Anyways, let's get back to... Dying. I'll meet you at the next chest, because that's really all this is. It's chest and enemies and death. Alright guys, um, I'm back. This is the second important present for us to get. First, I'm going to make up a little bit of space. Uh, they all look pretty good. I'll, I guess Teddy looks like you can use a little bit. No, you don't. Alright. But we need some space anyways for this. Once again, another item. Very good. Specifically for our girl Anna. Alright. What did you have before? A frying pan? And who gives a crap about a frying pan? That's probably trash. That's right. Get rid of that. Alright. Now let's meet at this last one. Alright. See you there.
Hey guys! Alright, so we're here at our last very important presence. And it is... Hank's Bat. Another item. Hopefully a good one. I might as well check it while we're here, let's look. This awesome bat was personally autographed. I'm assuming by, uh, famous, I don't know, Hank Aaron? Another famous baseball player with Hank? Shit, sorry. What were we using before? Oh, trash! We were using trash before! Get rid of that, that's right. Now that our team is equipped, we can move on. If I can get my way out of this dastardly cave of mine. Anyways, I'll meet you at the exit, alright? Let's see you then. Alright guys, we made it. In this new place. I don't know what lies ahead. But something tells me we're getting close to the end. We're closer every time. Megaborg! Jesus, these guys look tough. Uh, here. Yeah. I'm not equipped to take you out right now. Give me a second. Anyways, I think we'll probably cut it there. That cave took me a lot longer than even I expected. And, uh, something tells me this next part might take just as long. So, let's see. I'll catch you guys next time. Goodbye.